what it is guys it's your diner we're back again with another review so let's just get straight into it this one is for catizens catizens is published by herocraft and developed by bad optic games it doesn't really state what's the pc minimum requirements because this game is in like early alpha it, when it was given to me it's very early alpha but the idea of the game is that you are basically doing a management game you are making thomas and leandra for the purpose of this video the two main characters the male cat and the female cat and you have to basically keep them alive and build a series of of like villages and towns and stuff like that to help make sure that they survive and you have to take the management side of this is that you have to get citizen cats that will move in aka catizens to move into your villages that you make and their their traits have to balance each other's out so you don't want to put a character that likes to be a loner with a big ma massive metropolis you want to put them in a small town so you have to balance the systems out so you can try and keep each individual catizen happy and that each one will then have their own jobs and tasks that they can do to make sure the settlement that you build has its different professionals and its different generalized um catizens who could do the jobs that they need to do for example fishing fisher cats you need masonry cats you need blacksmith cats you need soldier cats you need works workman cats you need to, you need to balance each individual task out so it works with each individual character so you have to take into account that you'll need to fight animals in the wilderness deal with crows make sure you've got enough farmland and food and and clean water and ways for the cats to take care of their needs making sure you have a cat bath house and all sorts of different things for the different individual characters that you will have living in your towns there is a lot of different things that you can get such as bath houses stables taverns flour mills outdoor kitchens indoor kitchens you can get two-story cottages simple cottages you can have tents you can build these bustling metropolises they've done a really good job of fleshing out a game around cats that is a management game now the pros are it's a very well built game it plays very well and i don't see a problem with how it develops later on in the game obviously for the the benefit of the video i haven't gone into the further stuff and shown that off because i don't want to give spoilers and as always i will say this guys don't forget that all my reviews are always tried to be spoiler free so they don't spoil things for you if you would then to go and pick up the game but I remember to hit that dino dino smash that like button it's greatly appreciated and thank you for the love and support that you give on the channel thank you for all that it really does help and back to the review though the game has only a few flaws that i can see it's not going to be graphically appealing to some people they're probably going to complain and say it's not good enough on the graphic level but all in all it is a very nice made game and it does play very very well it's smooth it's consistent it does a really really good job of trying to be a productivity based management game and the balancing act of keeping all the different characters alive and doing their jobs that's the key so i think that they've done a very good job with the whole system and i feel that if you do want to pick the game up you can hit the link down in the description if you want to check it out i will leave one down there they've done a really good job with it the people that i could see this game aimed towards are people like myself who love management games people who like cats or content creators who want to be able to have a chill game that they can get their community involved and name all the different catizens after 
say their mods their subscribers or members if they're on youtube and then trickle down to followers or subscribers if they're on youtube the subscribers are basically followers on the different platforms i just wanted to make that abundantly clear it, it's all in all the art style isn't great it does look very rudimentary but that's not a bad thing there are games out there that have done the same style where it's very undetailed on the character models but they focus more on the gameplay and i feel like that is what they've done here on this game i feel that the limitations that they give you entering into different areas within the game does also make you have to be aware of the catacombs that you have from previous villages and how they could benefit from being in a different environment and trying to match out and balance all the different requirements for all the different characters so it does add a level of micro and macro management on the individual level instance and then on the grander scale of your entire playthrough so you have to bear that in mind as you go into each individual instance or level as the, as the game calls them because i wouldn't really call them levels i'd more more or less call them scenarios and all in all i feel that they've done a very good job with that i feel that if you can balance everything that each individual instance or each individual level as it's known requires you're able to at least meet the management needs of your entire catisons and if you do it efficiently enough you could get a bustle in metropolis going in each individual area if you took the time to play through past what the basic goals of each individual level is but that's just my opinion that's where i stand on it would i recommend this game yes to a management fan yes to a content creator who wants a chill down to earth game where they can get their community involved so their communities feel connected to the characters in the game probably not to a first time management game player i would probably recommend something else something a little bit more manageable sorry for the lack of articulation there but i would probably recommend something that would be more more guided to to them as a new player but that's just my opinion let me know what you think if you've played the game before sound off in the comments and let me know whether you liked the review didn't dislike it whether it influenced you and made you want to pick up the game thanks for watching guys remember all the links to everything is down in the description and i will see you in the next one take care and have fun gaming bye